Hi, and welcome to Bremster Puzzles. I'm back to Variant Sudoku 101, German Whispers, which is German Whispers, Whispers 5. Um, in the explanation, I think I might end up explaining why, of how to solve, use this constraint. I might end up explaining why um, we're starting to call it Whispers 5 more and more. So this is a series of puzzles by Phoenix Archie, which are designed to help people learn the basics of how constraints work. Um, and um, yeah, there'll be a link below to where you can try this puzzle for yourself, as well as to its Logic Masters Germany page, where you'll be able to find the other puzzles in this series by looking at Phoenix Archie's profile. Um, so... Uh, yeah, I don't think that I, the, the explanations of Whispers 5 or German Whispers is co called German Whispers for a very long time because the original puzzle that used this constraint was, um, the line was in the shape of a map of Germany. Um, and, um, but more and more other types of lines with different differences have come into play. So in order, and because of the different ways of explaining how to solve the lines um, that uh, other people have come up with um, basically in some teaching classes and everything. There's been some nomenclature changes that have come in place to help people understand it. And uh, I'll explain that as we're going. But um, anyway, let's go through the rules. We've got normal Sudoku rules apply. So in every box, in every row, and in every column, the digits one to nine must be placed without repetition. And then we've got adjacent digits on a green line must have a difference of at least five. So these digits must be at least five apart. These digits must be at least five apart. And the same is true for any cells connected by um, a green line. They're the rules. I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Let's give this a shot. Now, I can start by writing five into those cells. Now, why can I do that? Now, the reason is you can never put five onto one of these green lines. Why? Well, let's look at what happens if I try. If I was to put a five here, what could go next to it? So in order to have a difference of five or more, or a difference of at least five, I need to add or subtract five or more. Now, if I add five to five, I'm at 10 or higher and I'm outside the bound of Sudoku digits. If I subtract, I'm at zero or lower and still outside the bound. So that doesn't work. I'm actually going to move to this line now. So every digit must either be above five or below five. Now, if I put a digit that is below five, I can't put another digit below five next to it because the maximum difference there between one and four is three, and that's not five. So the next digit must be above five. And I can't then put a digit above five next to that because the maximum difference is three between six and nine. So the next digit would have to be low. And as you go along the line, you're always going to alternate from above five to below five, above five, below five. We call this high, low, high, low or alternating polarity. So as we move along these lines, we're always going to alternate. I'm going to use orange, then purple, then orange. And this is using the colors to state one of the colors is going to be above five and one of the colors is going to be below five. And this is where I think in these boxes, because I know this pattern, I've used it, um, I'm going to be able to explain why whispers five is becoming more common. Because what I now want to talk about is the digits four and six. Because in order to determine what digits can go or what can go next to a digit on a line, what you want to do is either add or subtract the value of the difference that is allowed on a whisper line. So on a whisper five line, because we've already determined every digit must be above five, below five, and it's going to alternate between the two. If you're below five, you add five to that number and see what digits are possible. So let's say it's a two and we add five to two, we're at seven. So the digit that goes next to it must be seven or higher. And similar with like, if we put an eight on the line, eight minus five is three. So it'd have to be three or lower. Now with four and six, if you add five to four, you only get nine. Nine is the only possible partner. And with six, if you subtract five from six, one is the only possible partner. So you can never put on these cells here, um, I will use a line to mark it, a four or a six. Because if I put a four here, both of those would need to be nine. Same here, if I put a four here, both of those would need to be nine. And the same is true with six. If I put a six here, both of those would need to be one. A six here, both of those would need to be one. So the four and the six in this box can only go at the end of the line. And that is going to give me everything because of this one. Because with this, um, if this was the six, this would have to be the one. So this becomes the six, this becomes the one, this becomes the four, this becomes the nine. And now I can continue because these are now going to be the high digits, seven, eight. These are going to be the low digits, two, three. I can get rid of the coloring. And then, uh, actually, I might just change this to my standard coloring. So uh, I use these as a easy contrast um, color set to use. I'm actually going to color all of the digits. These are low 
and this is high. Actually, I could have done one more thing as well, which is with this five in place, I could pencil mark five there. Can I choose fives? Now I'm going to keep going with this. This can't be a three because one of those needs to be a seven. And with one of those needing to be a seven, if this was a three, the difference between seven and three is only four. So that's the two, that's the three. And now that can't be the seven because if this was the seven, the three and the seven would only have a four difference. That's the eight and that's the seven. So this one has given us all of that. But I could use a similar logic down here. These must be four, six. And we know the four, six must go next to the one and the nine. I wonder if this eight's going to give it to me. No, it's not. Um, the four, six must go next to the one, nine. So we know these are from two, three, seven, eight. But I can't put a three in here because three plus five is eight. So it can only go next to a digit eight or higher. So if this is a three, those would need to be eight, nine. I'm actually going to color... Um, this line with its alternating colors using something different again, because um, I might get this. So if this was a three, those would need to be eight, nine, but the nine is in one of those two cells. So that can't be a three. And the same here, three would make those eight, nine, but the nine's not in either of those cells. And seven would need to go next to one, two. But if this was a seven, one's not in either of those. And if that's at a seven, one's not in either of those two. So that's not seven. These are two, eight, and these are not two, eight. And you'll notice it goes, this is the same pattern, 46193728, 46193728. The difference is here, I don't have the order prescribed. Okay, so what can I do now? Uh, that's an interesting question. Okay, I can see six is in one of those two. Oh, this is a four, six pair. And the reason for that is four and six can only go next to one and nine. So if I put four or six on this line, I'd need to put a one or a nine next to it, but one and nine is not available. This is four, six. So I know what this line is. One, two, three, and eight. And we know it's alternating. So two and three can't go next to each other. So the eight is between the two and the three. So these are low digits and this is a high digit. And the eight now makes this the two. So we know orange is actually the low digits and purple is the high digits. So two, three, four, one, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. So what more can I do? Well, six similarly can't go in any of those because I'd need a one next to it. So six is in one of those two, which makes one of those two a one. Well, that puts, where's six in this row? I can't put six in either of those two or either of those two. Six is in one of those two, but I don't know that that's helping me. Oh, the three makes that the two and that the three. And now three is on this line. And I can't put three in the middle. Three plus five is eight. So I could only put eight and nine next to it and eight's not available. So three is on one of the ends. So I know... Uh, I know the ends are low and the middle is high because once one of the ends, if this is low, it's low, high, low. And if this, or if this is a three, it's low, high, low. And if this is a three, it's low, high, low. So this is a high digit. It's six, seven or nine because it can't be an eight. And one of those is a three, which can only go next to an eight or a nine. So that's the nine. And these are one, three because they're low digits and two and four are not available. That's a one, three. And these are six and seven. And the six is looking down, making that the seven and that the six. That's very nice. And now I can do more in this box. One is in, or well, one is right here because one and one knocks out all of those. Four is not in either of those. That's the four, which is a low digit. These are five and nine. And the nine makes that the five and that the nine, which is a high digit. Beautiful. So these are down to triples. One, two, three, four, six, and seven. And one, two, five, and eight. Well, there's no two there, and there's no five there. So a four here would make this a nine. A six would make this a one, and a seven would make that a one or a two. And it can't be a two. So this is a one or a nine only. So if this is a seven, this would have to be a one. If this is a six, it's a one. And if it's a four, it's a nine. Okay. 
So these triples maybe? One, two, three, four, five, seven, and nine. And one, two, three, and eight. So this is a three because of the two and the eight looking across. Hmm. Can these be high? If these are high, they'd be seven and nine, and that would be a one. If these are low, or if these are high, it's seven, nine, and this is a one, because the only high digits available are seven, nine, one of them is a seven, which can only go next to a one or a two, and two is not available. If this is high, it's seven, and these would be one, two. So there must be a one on this line. So it's either seven in the middle, because six, eight, and nine are not available with one, two, or if the outside is high, it's seven, nine with one. So there must be a seven on the line as well. So four, where's four in this row? It must be there. Because I can't put four on the line. Four here would need that to be nine. Four here would need that to be nine. Four in the middle would need both of them to be nine. Four can't go here and four can't go here or both of those is nine. That's a four, which is a low digit. So those can't be low anymore. Those are high digits. Because if they were low, what would they be? Well, they can't be one, three or four. They both need to be two. So this is a low digit, which is a two. So these are, well, they can't be six because six and two are only four apart. So these are seven and nine, and I know the order. This is nine, this is seven. So these, one, two, these are four and six. Wow. So these are one and nine. And that's a one nine pair. Can't I break that open yet? Apparently not. Well, where's four in this row? It's not in any of those. It's not in any of those. This is a four, six pair. Um, okay, this is getting a little tricky. Oh, no, it's not. The nine is looking up, making that the one, which makes that the six, which makes that the four, and that the nine. Okay, no, that wasn't tricky at all. The six makes that the four and that the six. The nine looks back making that the one, which means this isn't the four, they'd be too close, which makes that the three and that the one. Do I need my coloring anymore? No, I don't. There's no two here anymore. There's only one low digit available for this line, which is the one, because I can't put a three on it because three would need, I eliminated three from this line somehow. How did I do that? Why couldn't I put one three? Yeah, I couldn't put three on this line because a three on the outside would need eight or nine and they weren't available. Can't put three in the middle because I'd need an eight, yeah. So the three is here, which is the low digit. And this is now one, seven, nine. The only low digit is the one and this is the seven, nine. Great. So these are high, this is low. And now I don't need my coloring anymore because every line is done. That's very cool puzzle. That's a really cool puzzle. One, one, one means there's no one in any of those. This is the one. So one, two, three, four. These are five, six, and eight. The eight isn't there. The five isn't there. Oh, the six isn't there either. That's the eight. This is, this is not eight, and it's not six. That's five. That's six. These, one, two, three, four, five, two, and seven. And the two makes that the seven and that the two. So this is a high digit which is seven or eight, because it can't be six or nine. These, one, two, three, and five, and the three means that's the five and that's the three. The five looks across saying that's not the five. The seven looks across making that the nine, taking the nine out of those. The two looks across making that the eight and that the two. The eight looks back making that the seven, taking the seven out of there. The seven looks up making that the nine and that the seven. So now nine and nine mean there's no nine in any of those. That's a four, six, so that's the nine. 
The seven looks across, making that the five and that the seven. This is the three that hasn't been placed. So one, two, three, four, five, six, five, and eight. These are five and eight, with the five looking down, making that the eight and that the five. The eight looks down, making that the two. So this is a five, eight, with the five looking down, making that the eight and that the five. So one, two, this is a three, because four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That is the three. This row, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, four, and eight, with the eight looking up, making that the four and that the eight. In here, I haven't put a two and a six, with the two making that the six and that the two. The six looks down, taking six out of there. The four looks down, making that the seven, that the six, that the four, looking up, making that the six, that the four. Beautiful puzzle. Absolutely stunning. I think that was actually quite tricky. The concepts of not being able to put four and six on these lines and then the high low linkages through this, I think that was way trickier than a 101 puzzle. And I'm not sure if that's just Phoenix Arky not being used to not uh, setting for people who aren't puzzle experts, and there's no way Logic Masters Germany would give feedback on that. I've spent a fair bit of time looking at feedback on Logic Masters Germany, and I've seen puzzles that take people who are incredibly skilled solvers, take over 30 minutes, get rated one stars. Um, and if you've got five or six years experience in something, and you take 30 minutes to do something, that is not a beginner thing. And that's one star is easy beginner friendly that is not a thing um yeah but very very good german whisper puzzle it did teach some phenomenal concepts very very well i like that puzzle a lot thank you phoenix Aki, for the series um thank you everyone for watching i hope you're enjoying the puzzles as much as i am and as always good luck with your solving